This presentation is given by Dr. Malik Hassan Mahmoud. Our contents of discussion are brief about diuresis, classification of diuretics, pharmacodynamics, pharmacokinetics, adverse drug reactions, drug drug interactions, diuretic drugs, primary effect of diuretics is to increase solute excretion, mainly as sodium chloride. Cause Increase in urine volume due to increased osmotic pressure and lumen of renal tubule. Cause concomitant decrease in extracellular volume, blood volume. Certain disease states may cause blood volume to increase outside of narrowly defined limits. Diuretic drugs treat hypertension, congestive heart failure, liver cirrhosis, nephrotic syndrome, renal failure, dietary sodium restriction. Often not enough to maintain ECF and prevent edema diuretics needed. Types of diuretics are carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, acid azolamide, loop diuretics, or high ceiling diuretics, furosemide, bumetanide, ethacrinic acid, and torsemide. Thiazide diuretics, chlorothiazide, hydrochlorothiazide, potassium sparing. Diuretics, sodium channel blockers, amyloride, aldosterone antagonists, spironolactone, osmotic. Diuretics, urea, mannitol. Site of action of diuretics is illustrated here. Mechanism of action of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, thiazide diuretics. Loop diuretics and potassium sparing sodium channel blockers is explained here. Mechanism of action of osmotic diuretics is illustrated here. Actazolamide drug, therapeutic. Uses, cystinuria, increase alkalinity of tubular urine, glaucoma, decrease. Ocular pressure, epilepsy, altitude sickness, familial periodic paralysis. Metabolic alkalosis. Adverse effects, bone marrow depression, skin toxicity. Renal lesions and allergic reactions. Drowsiness and paresthesia, renal calculus. Formation, worsening of metabolic or respiratory acidosis. Therapeutic uses. Acute pulmonary edema. Hypertension, in patients with impaired renal function. Congestive heart failure, moderate to severe, liver cirrhosis, nephrotic. Syndrome, chronic renal failure, hyperkalemia, chemical intoxication, 2. Increase urine flow. Adverse effects of furosemide, extracellular fluid volume. Depletion hypochloremic alkalosis, hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia, hypocalcemia, ototoxicity hyperuricemia hyperglycemia skin rashes, photosensitivity, paresthesias, bone marrow depression, and gastrointestinal disturbances, hydrochlorothiazide, therapeutic, uses, hypertension, congestive heart failure, mild, hepatic cirrhosis, renal, calculi, nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, nephrotic syndrome, chronic renal, Failure, and acute glomerulonephritis, as an adjunct to loop diuretic, osteoporosis. Adverse effects are, extracellular volume depletion hypotension hypokalemia, hyponatremia hypochloremia, metabolic alkalosis hypomagnesemia, hypercalcemia, hyperuricemia hyperglycemia hyperlipidemia hypersensitivity, bone marrow, suppression, dermatitis, necrotizing vasculitis, interstitial nephrethes. Amyloride. Therapeutic uses, to offset the kaleuritic effects of thiazide and loop diuretics, primary and secondary hyperaldosteronism, hepatic cirrhosis, ventricular arrhythmia. Adverse effects are, gynecomastia, impotence, decreased libido, hirsutism, deepening of the voice, and menstrual, irregularities, hyperkalemia, diarrhea, gastritis, gastric bleeding, and peptic ulcers, drowsiness, lethargy, ataxia, confusion, and headache. Osmotic diuretics, therapeutic uses, reduce presurgical or post-trauma intracranial pressure to control intraocular pressure during acute attacks of glaucoma and ocular surgery, dialysis disequilibrium syndrome. Maintain urine flow following acute toxic ingestion of renal toxins. Adverse effects are hyponatremia leading to headache, nausea, and vomiting, hypernatremia, dehydration, 
Drugs pharmacokinetic properties, their routes of administration. Bioavailability, half-life and routes of elimination are presented in this table. Let's discuss case of a patient. A 56-year-old man is admitted to hospital following hematemesis and melena. He has a known history of alcoholic liver disease. Stopped drinking alcohol one year ago, with marked ascites. A provisional diagnosis of bleeding esophageal varices is made. A sing's taken, Blakemore tube is inserted. And the balloon inflated is a temporary measure to arrest bleeding. The patient is transferred eight hours later to a specialist regional center for further management. Laboratory data on admission is, sodium 124, 133 to 143 millimole per liter. Potassium 3.0, 3.5 to 5.0 millimole per liter. Creatinine 131, 80 to 124 millimole per liter. Urea 14.3, 2.7 to 7.7 millimole per liter. Bilirubin 167. 3.15 millimole per liter. Alt 24, 0 to 35 IU per liter. PT 18.9, 13 seconds. Albumin 24, 35 to 50 gram per deciliter. HB 8.9, 13.5 to 18 gram per deci. Liter. Questions are, suggest drug on admission? What other action would you have recommended before the patient was transferred to the regional center? What options, drug and or non-drug, are likely to be available at the regional center for managing the patient's bleeding varices? What further long-term measures would you recommend for this patient? Case 2, a 68-year-old woman with a long-standing history of alcoholic liver disease is admitted to hospital with a two-week history of vomiting confusion, increased abdominal distension, and worsening jaundice. Laboratory data that was collected on admission is, sodium, 116, 133 to 143 millimole per liter. Potassium 3.8, 3.5 to 5 millimole per liter. Urea 8.5, 3.3 to 7.7 millimole per liter. CR 119, 80 to 124 millimole per liter. Bilirubin 459, 3 to 17 millimole per liter. Albumin 23, 35 to 50 gram per liter. Alt 23, 0 to 35 IU per liter. Alt P524, 70 to 300 IU per liter. PT 18.6. 13 seconds, drugs on admission are as follows, spironolactone, 300 milligrams each. Morning. Temazepam. 10 mg at night. Lactolose, 10 ml twice daily questions. R. Discuss the initial treatment plan for the management of ascites, nausea, and vomiting. Confusion? Thank you.